Hey, doing guys? Dragon Man here. I'm in the Colorado Springs Military Museum, and this is my Iraqi display, and we're going to go through my Afghanistan display. This, I just want to give you a fast look of what you're going to see if you come this weekend. We're open Sunday at 10 o'clock for a tour, and Monday morning, Veterans Day, at 10 o'clock for a tour. So anyway, uh, Desert Storm started uh, January 17th, 1991. Uh, the Fort Carson soldiers uh, nicknamed their uniforms the Chocolate Chip Uniform. As you can see, as the years went by, uh, the uniforms changed. And uh, here, let me show you some of these uniforms. Here we got the bomb suits over here that they're uh, still wearing. These were all souvenirs that they brought me back. They're always bringing me stuff back. And uh, here, check this out. RPGs. Here's a whole box of brand new rocket propelled grenades. These are Russian rocket propelled grenades. And I'm allowed to have these because there's no explosives in here and they're just brand new and they're empty. And this is what they're using against the American vehicles. So if one of these hits the vehicle, they don't stand a chance. I tell you all about Iraq and Afghanistan. Okay guys, you come around here. We can show you uh, all the different uniforms, how they changed, all the stuff they brought back. This is called the multicam. That's what they're wearing today with the newest gas mask. Uh, in this room over here is all the stuff that came back from uh, Iraq. Okay, over here we have the uh, dead insurgents uh, pictures. Uh, we have the hookahs. Uh, there's a picture of the camel spiders over here. Uh, they're like uh, 10, 12 inch diameter. Over here, these are knives they brought back, the insurgents' knives. There's no two knives the same. They're all homemade knives that they use over there. Hey, you come around the turn. These are original Republican Guard uniforms. Some of them have bullet holes through them, blood stains. They're all 100% original. Okay, over here, if you were a, a teenager, a young kid growing up in Iraq, this is the way uh, uh, the young... Uh, Teenagers and young people are dressed over there. They're only allowed to show their hands and uh, their face. That's the only skin. I have uh, authentic uh, Republican Guard uh, general uniforms. Here's a Republican Guard Special Forces uniform. All the weapons, all the AK-47s you see in my museum, everything is 100% authentic and real and working. Okay, over here we have one of uh, Saddam Hussein's scrapbooks. They brought me back from one of his palaces. Look at the size of that hookah. This is a, uh, a knife, a sword that they found next to his bed in one of his palaces in the original box. Isn't that something? I have pictures of all his, uh, his castles over here. This is the capture of Saddam Hussein. I have the original pictures. Over here is the hole they pulled him out of. They roughed him up a little bit. They opened up his foot locker, all American $100 bills. These are guys from the 4th ID from Fort Hood, Texas that helped capture him. Over here, they're taking him to trial. This is the jail they kept him in. They told me he's standing in this room one hour before they hung him. This is the double gallows in case one malfunctioned. And here's the rope around his neck. And that's the end of Saddam Hussein. Okay, guys, follow me over here. These are real special uniforms to me because these are, uh, this is the honor row. These are Fort Carson soldiers and Peterson Air Force Base soldiers that uh, gave me their uniforms and took a picture of them wearing a uniform in Iraq. And uh, these guys uh, all brought me back a lot of stuff and uh, I really appreciate uh, all their service and what they did for us. This is the honor row. In fact, I have to make room this winter for more mannequins and more uh, uniforms and pictures of these uh, heroes. Okay guys, we're going to go right into here to Afghanistan here. This is the Afghanistan room. Everything is 100% original, all brought back by the soldiers. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have 85% of the stuff. Here, check out this guy. Here's a suicide bomber. See, they make the bombs out of ammonium nitrate. See that? And this is a detonator. See, uh, a fuse from a uh, hand grenade. And uh, they were very proud to be able to uh, go into a crowd and uh, uh, blow up themselves and honor their families and their religion. See, a lot of, a lot of uh, citizens get shot over there in Iraq and Afghanistan almost every day because uh, they don't, the enemy over there doesn't have a uniform. All this guy has to do is drop the bolo knife and the uh, explosive uh, vest, and he just blends in with everybody else. 
This is the Afghanistan's army's uniform and the type of AK-47 they're using over there. This is all religious stuff, the holy water, the Bible. Uh, this is the holy temple, Mecca, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm really going to tell you guys a real lot about all this stuff. I'm just giving you a look of what we have. Look at the size of these prayer beads. Those are the prayer, biggest prayer beads I've ever seen. They touch one or two of those prayer beads every couple of minutes, I mean hours, and they lean on their prayer rug and they pray to their God, Allah. Okay, over here, I'm going to show you IEDs. Yeah, this is IEDs. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how they make them, how they work, and uh, there's really a lot of history in here. So if you guys want to uh, learn about all this stuff, uh, you come see me. Here, this is here is a time bomb that they uh, make out of a, uh, a clock and the inside of a transistor radio. Okay, guys. Well, we only have another three minutes. i got to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.